So in iOS 17, there's a new feature called standby mode, which you can use at night when your phone is on a stand. Now, before you can use it, you have to make sure it's enabled in the settings. So on your iOS 17 running iPhone, go to settings. On the main settings page, look for standby. Tap on that and make sure standby is enabled. So with that enabled, you're good to go. Now, all you need is a stand. And then of course your iPhone needs to be charging. So make sure it's plugged in on a stand in landscape mode. Okay. So let me set it up quickly. Here's the stand. Now I'm going to have to hold this stand because it's not very stable for this set. But there's the iPhone plugged into a charger and on a stand with standby mode enabled. So all you have to do now is lock the screen. And with the screen locked in a couple of seconds, you should see the standby mode. So for this to work, the phone has to be almost vertical or something very close to vertical on a stand. So this is the standby mode. It comes on automatically as long as your phone is plugged in and standby mode is enabled in the settings. So here you have three main standby mode faces. So you have this one with the widgets. And then if you swipe across, you have this one that shows photos. And then if you swipe across again, you have this one which shows the time. Now you can customize any of these faces. Let's start with the first one, which is which has widgets. So you can scroll up or down to find different widgets that look different and show different information until you get the one you like. And there are also widgets on this right hand side that show different things. So you can actually customize to exactly what you want. You can have the clock and the weather or, or you can have the date there and the calendar or the reminders or today's events, whatever you want really. And then you can also customize which widgets are available in each section. So on the left hand side, you can just long press on the current widget. And once you long press, you can actually see that you can remove and add widgets. So let's say you want to remove this one. All you have to do is tap on the minus icon in the top left corner of that widget. And then it's going to ask if you want to remove the stocks widget, confirm that. Okay. To add a widget, just tap on the plus icon and then you should see a list of mostly Apple applications that you can add as widgets. Okay. So let's add back the stocks widget, confirm, just tap on add and it's going to be added back. And then now you can tap on done to exit. Okay. You can also do the same on the right hand side, just long press on the current widget and then you have the same menu. Okay. Now let's go to the second, uh, the second uh, type, which is if you swipe across is this one that shows photos. So by default, it's going to show photos from the favorites folder. And what you can do, if you long press, I mean, for the featured folder, not favorite featured. So if you press that, you can actually add another album. So just tap on that. It's going to show the albums in your phone. Let me select that album. For instance, that one's going to be added there. And once you add that album, you can now unsee or disable this one by tapping on that eye icon and that's going to be hidden. And now it's only going to show photos from the uh, album you selected. Now, the only downside to this particular standby mode is it requires face ID to be able to access your gallery so it can show photos. Okay. So it's not going to work when you're not looking at the phone or when it has not unlocked your, uh, your phone via face ID. Okay. Now let's move to the last one. This one is the one that shows time and this one can also be customized. Okay. So you can swipe up to look at different types of uh, clocks and other standby modes. 
you have that one but it mostly shows the time as you can see different types of clocks that's an analog clock you have digital with the date and weather and you can choose any of these and even the one you choose you can go ahead and customize even further so for instance if you choose this one and long press on it you can actually see that with this you can change the color of the clock and customize it to a different color so that's basically how to use the standby mode on your iPhone now let me just exit this and go back to to the settings so when you go back to the settings on the main settings page and go back to standby you actually have the option to disable standby if you want to or if you don't want to use standby and you think it's probably draining your battery you can turn it off from there also you can leave it on and then you choose whether you want to leave the always on display now when it says when always on is enabled the display will intelligently turn off when it's not in use okay so anytime you look at this display it's going to show the standby mode and then of course you have night mode uh, it basically says standby presents in red tint with low ambient lighting so you can play around with all those settings and that's that's basically how to use standby mode that comes in iOS 17 for your iPhone thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck